Let me know once you are able to see the screen. Yes. Are you able to see the screen? Okay, good. So uh, I shared the link to download the vault, right? Then we extracted probably extract right? Then I showed to run the command to start the vault. And we are running in a development mode, production may already installed, rahega, already configured. Rahega. You will just use that. But here, as we are learning, I have showed how to install it, how to configure it, that I'm going to show. If you forget this, doesn't matter. Just remember, you have to fetch it and what may store it. Just understand it. Okay? So, what uh, did I do? I downloaded that zip file. And uh, this is the zip location. So I downloaded that exe because I'm working on Windows. Down, I downloaded at this vault location and this is vault.exe file. I open the command prompt and I just type the command vault.exe server and hyphen dev. Okay, I'll, I'll just paste that command in the chat. Okay, this is a command to start the vault. Go to that location or Stalogar. Before that, as we are moving forward, I just want to see if you are practicing or not, or how many people are behind. First of all, how many people are behind the GitLab account? And it's, it's okay. You raise your hand that I'm not going to punish. You are 25 age. Just trying to help you. How many of you have not created a big tab account here? Okay. Nine, ten, eleven. Any issue? Big tab account create करने में issue आ रहा है? या पता नहीं? मैंने probably you may Stuck somewhere while creating that account. As a good for a Mac Ali Jana Jatao, are you able to create it or not? Issue here, yeah, nice. But you can create it, right? Can you please write this to do task? Can you write this to do task? Jinone Kiyani or even Jinone Kiyai just to make sure that you are going to create that account. Okay, so everybody, first step is create a GitHub account. Second, create a repository on a GitHub. That's the second task. So most of might have completed, but you know, just make sure you create. And when you create it, when you let me write it for you, otherwise you will forget and will never write it. The first step is that's the first step. Sorry, we are using GitHub, not GitLab. Okay, create a project repository on GitHub. Usme sub task click down, create create git ignore.
ओके दिस थ्री फाइल्स यू कैन क्रिएट ऑन दैट यहां तक कर सकते हो आप देन कैन यू क्रिएट अ गिट डेव ब्रांच ऑन द रिपोजिटरी You can do from a main branch, okay? Then fourth step, क्या कर सकते हो आप? Now you need to install VS Code. Clone the repository. on your local machine can you clone can you clone the repository on your local machine okay once you clone the branch or repository on your local machine create create a feature branch on your local machine from dev branch then seventh step what you can do is Okay, do git push to remote branch. यहाँ पे क्या मैं star sign लिखता हूँ. Now can anybody tell me what will happen when you try to do the git push to the remote branch, remote feature branch? क्या होगा? Remote branch, remote feature branch, remote पे available है क्या? नहीं है. So then it will say that you need to first set the upstream. So just said that that's why I put the star sign there. यहाँ तक कोई problem है? नहीं? Okay. Then I'll eighth step I'll say install, download and install. Uh, git bash suppose. I think this should be before uh git. Right. Otherwise, you will not execute. You take it up. Okay. These are the eight things you will do as a pre setup. Let me make sure I'm not over. Okay. How many people have done this eight step up till now? Maybe with VS Code or with Python, just fine. Okay, I will recommend. अगर आप कल आने से पहले ये कर पाओगे तो that is well and good. अगर नहीं तो क्या होगा? You will forget and then बाकी नहीं आगे कुछ कर नहीं पाओगे. Okay. Okay. After doing this eighth step, let's go to the ninth step. This is optional. Just to you can install it. Uh, I will recommend WSL will be already there, but Ubuntu. If you want to install, you can install that Ubuntu just for your practice. Maybe in future we may use it on the Windows. Okay, tenth step. I'll say
who can download the vault and uh, configure the vault server. This is the 10th step. Okay. Now we'll move to the next step where we are storing the secrets now. Yeah, the clear is above. Okay. I'll share this one with uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, When you start the vault, vault may have a token milega and then URL. Aega. So just open this URL and log in with the token. I'll just add this step here. Okay, login using the root tokens. Once you log in, click on the secret. Okay, once you click on the secret, you can add a secret. So right now I have added AWS so that I don't know somehow that issue uh, is fixed. I'm going to delete this and recreate. So you'll click on the create secret. Okay, I'm just going to add a secret and provide the path. AWS secret store So I just make a folder with the AWS. US. So all the secrets are stored there. I'll write the secret name is BW hyphen AWS hyphen um, access key development. Key. Okay, this is just for development. And key value is something I'll just add it. I added this one. Let's add the second secret, which is BW uh, instead of access key, it is secret key. Again, some value of it. I add it and I'm going to save this. Okay, so I added this AWS Jahape under the secret, all the AWS secrets are stored. Any doubt up till now? Got it? So under that, I have two secrets, AWS access key dev, AWS secret key dev, which we will fetch to API and then we'll use in our program. Abhi hum log kaise use karenge? Uh, let's see that one. Okay, so I think I should use the word. So that I can place the images as well. Any question up till now? Acha wo slash issue tha. Probably you will not see that. That's why I'm attaching in share. Okay, 
So you will add secrets like this. Any issue? So far good. Okay. Aage kya abhi? Now what? Next. So now what we need to do? Secret to add okay, but I need an application role which can access this secret. Okay. So uske liye I will use the app role. So what we need to do? Activate. Configure the app role. Now, ye cheeze aapko nahi aai, that is fine because this will be done by the security person. I'm telling this thing you because hum use karne wale hai, is liye. Ye aapko, as a data engineer, aapko karne ki jarurat nahi hai. This will be done by the security person. I'm showing you the reason that you should know ki ye kaha se aaya, store kaha pe wa. You will never log into the vault, uh, right? Let me go. So for that, there is, if you go on a dashboard or if you go on policy, let me see, and dashboard. So you have to go on access. If you go on access, you need to enable the app role. So right now, I'll delete and recreate the app role. I deleted the app role. The authentication methods. So first authentication method is the password authentication. Right? We password to log in first time. Now I want to set it, set it for application login. So there should not be application, there should be application, we should automatically log in. The application should not log in, fetch the password using the user token or authentication. Three methods we know. One is username and password. Second is token. Third is application through API. So hum abhi kya dekh rahe? application dekh rahe. right? I'll tell you, I, if I log off from this, log out from this application after i log out what is the method it shows here it shows token username it's an ldap octa uh, these are the different type of authenticators you can also use the github to log in but for right now uh, we'll use either token or username so we are using a token because uh, I can use username, but I don't. I have to add the user as admin and then do that. But right now, I'm using a token. So, this token kaha pe milega mujhe? When the server started, it generated the root token, which is this token. Right? I copied this and I pasted it here to do the login. Once I log in, I go to the secret and I can see the secrets that we created. Okay? Now, if I go to the access, I, I see the token and user pass. These are two methods are added here because I'm admin of Vault. I can add that. So now I want for application. I'm going to enable the method which is app role method. So I'm going to do the next and app role. The name of the part of method is app role. Enable it. That's it. So if I go back to the authentication methods, access, and I see three methods: app role method token method and password method, user password method. Uh, so I have this now. Now, as a next step to generate, I have to, I have, have created the secret to AWS. So the a application role ko, iska access nahi hai abhi. So I need to give an access for this method to the secrets that I have stored. So there is a code that I have to run and the code is this. And these are on the, in the documentation. Uh, you don't have to search it. If you see, this is what we did. App role full authentication, that's what we are using. And once we log in, we go to access, enable new method, and we added the app role. We created the app role. Once we create, we need to create a policy with the uh, attach, create a role with the policy so it can access the app, app role. 
So I'll copy this and we have to ramp it into the uh, vault UI. So I copy this. Okay, I'll copy this and we have a different path for it. So our secrets are store hai? secret. So this is store under what directory the secrets are stored. If you go back, go to the secret engine and secret, and this is AWS, right? So our secrets are stored under the secret secret KV list, right? Under this location. Or if you want to see, get the location, you can get the details uh, from Was there a space? I'm recreating this. Okay, so now you can see the path of it. The path is this one. Okay, V1, if I'm using API, this is the path. If I'm using uh, API path metadata, this is the path. So I'm not using it for API, so I will have secret data AWS, right? This is the path I'm using. So I am going to update this. Okay, secret data AWS. This is my path and um, I'm giving the access capability as a read access. So it will only able to read the password. It will not able to change the password. So I'm just going to give this access. So I'll go to the policy, under the policy, under the policy, uh, Insert entrance in the name, create ACL policy, create ACL policy under the ACL policy, uh, under the ACL policy, we can give any name. So I'll say uh, policy name, I'll give AWS. This is my policy name, and I can add this policy here. Probably I have to write. The capability is what capabilities I want to pass it to a read only. Are you so far with me? Okay, I'm just giving the read access to this role, the role or ACL policy I'm creating. I'm just giving the read access. Read access to whom? Who read access there down there? Secret data AWS. Who path for read access there down? 
किसको दे रहा हूँ आई एम गिविंग एक्सेस टू पॉलिसी ए सी एल पॉलिसी द नेम ऑफ ए सी एल पॉलिसी इज Yes, BW, AW secret policy, and I created this policy. Failed to pass add. I think there is some thing. Okay, I need to complete it. Okay, create the policy. So this ACL policy is created. What is ACL? Correct. So that policy is created. Now what happened? I created the policy with the capability as read, and then um, it is then run this command, which will create that new role. So policy create होने के बाद we need to create a role. I'll copy this and modify it. So write called or app role role, and instead of role, what role we created? The role or ACL policy that we created is this one. Copy this and then I say token policy. Ah, uh, this is my policy. Okay, and authentication. So that token is valid till. One hour and maximum TTL is four hour. So I copy this. One. I think I can run this. So कहाँ पे run करूँगा? I open this one command prompt. Okay, run it here. I'll paste this here. Okay, and and then data return successfully at auth app role role be created. Okay, let's see it is created or not. Uh, I have it under authentication app role access app role. Okay, that role is created. Okay, this is also done. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing, once you run this, create. Now we need to get a role ID and secret ID. Correct. So to get the role ID and secret ID, you can just simply run this command and uh, read the role ID and secret ID. I'll modify it. रोल हमने जो रोल बनाया था रोल क्या था दिस वाज़ द रोल ओ आई थिंक पॉलिसी एज अ रोल आई विल मेक दिस सीक्रेट रोल एडब्ल्यू आई विल रीरन दिस बाय क्रिएटिंग अ सेपरेट रोल Change it to six hours. Okay. AWS secret role is the role I created, and it's created successfully. Now here I'll just use this role to get a role ID out of it.
Now what I got? I got a role ID. I'll copy this role ID. This is the role ID. Key and value I got. Key is role ID and value is this one. For which role? For AWS secret role. Now I need a, another one which is a secret ID for that role. So I'll get a secret ID for that role also. Now I got a both secret ID bhi mujhe mil gaya. So I copy this secret ID also. Okay. I'm writing all this thing into your word document so that you don't have any issue while doing this thing. Okay. And I'm also sharing the link of this document so that you don't have any issues. Okay. So our role ID or secret ID we mil gaya hai. So we can use the API to call. We can use the Python code. We can use the request module. We can use the API to take the password from the wall. Okay. Now, this setup up to the business in there, up to the not on the project. Now you can do that so that you understand. So, it will be person who already do it for you. You don't have to worry. And we will share the role ID, secret ID. That's what we need to do. Apo Kalifko, AWS secret ID and access ID, not to give them. And this is for not your user ID. It is for the bad ID, or we call it as a service account. Service account is over. Job after ID is executed, not over. Product it will be executed with the service account, okay? Or we call it as a batch account. So here, we have the secret ID and role ID. Now we'll write the code, a Python code, to get that. Now, how to write the Python code? I have two persons. One pilot person has a first step to the pen person. The person has to buy a machine left, model is the Okay. And now obviously charges for those people will be different. So also ask me charges come here. Why? Because they can do pura karke chala hai. Manual do you abhi lagega usko? Then we will quality uska better hoga. Nasty quality, right? Because plus is that, right? Time effort sir, bachega, paisa bachega. So now, aapko agar bola jaye ki, hey, mujhe your boss or boss or someone say, ye do karna hai, ye do karna. What you will do? 
Okay, now use of Chat GPT or Google is also a skill. आपको क्या चाहिए वो ठीक से word में बताओ then you want to get it. तो मुझे अभी पता नहीं है suppose. So what I'll write write मुझे क्या चाहिए Python code चाहिए write a Python code to get passwords from Hashicorp Vault. Okay, then it will give you the password code, Python code to get the password from the vault. Uh, I'll just wait for a few minutes. Okay, so this is the first code it has given. Now, is it relevant to us? Kitna relevant? Hai? Let's find out. So, ye kya bol hai? what is what URL, what token, kya hai? secret path? Kya hai? It is asking this three information to us. So is it good to add the vault token and secret path? No. Right? So, or humne app rules banaya. So I will ask him how to do with the app role. How to do it with using the role ID and secret ID. So now it is writing a code for us using the role ID and secret ID jo humne banaya. using that how it is fetching the password credential. So okay, let's review the code, what it is doing. What it is doing, so it is calling the request module, it needs the vault URL, it needs the role ID, it needs a secret ID and it needs the path, secret path, jaha pe secret store. And then what it's doing, it is calling authenticating. First, it's doing the authentication. 
it is authenticating with the role ID and six rate ID that we generated. And then if there is an error, it is catching also. So you can see there is a try catch or try exception block is there. So it is posting, it's doing the post API call is doing. And this URL with this authentication data, role ID and six rate ID. And it is returning you the token. And this token being used to get the secret. So it has already given you the method, right? It has given you two methods. First is authentication. Second is getting the secret. Two method I have. In the second method, what is uh, it is doing? It is, sorry, it is using that token and that URL to get the response. And it is using the header, जो path है हमारा जहाँ पे secret store है वहाँ पे जा रहा है and we will get some response in JSON file JSON format. Let's say I get response and that it is parsing that response. It is getting the data. Once it is get, it is printed. Now all these two methods that created are put into the main class and this is where it is being called. So that's how this program was. Now see, let's copy this and use. Can we do this? I'll copy this. So I don't have to remember the code. I'll just use it and see. I'm VS code. Now we need to arrange the code properly. So if you remember, uh, I'm on a dev branch. I think uh, I'll switch to feature branch. Yes. So I have a feature just one is the branch. So it, how do I switch the branch to uh, job one? Git checkout. Okay. Oh. Are you able to read on my screen? Can you read this? You take out job one. I'm I went to this feature branch. Now, anytime, just always do the git pull once. Every time you do any anything you want to merge or anything you want to push, always do git pull. So latest jo update hua hai remote me, aapko mil jayega. And then on top of that, you will add something. So I will do git pull. When I do git pull, kaha se pull karega ye? Code kaha se? Kaun se repository se? कौन से रिपोजिटरी में पुल करेगा रिमोट रिपोजिटरी रिमोट ब्रांच फीचर जॉब वन से लोकल ब्रांच लोकल रिपोजिटरी में सेम ब्रांच पे पुल करेगा व्हाट इट अगर नहीं तो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हियर ऑन पाइथन इन यू सी आई हैड टू ब्रांचेस सॉरी आई हैड टू रिपोजिटरीज one is local, second is remote. So before merging or adding changes to the local, I want to make sure Mera jo code hai, wo updated hai. Look, remote say updated hai. So if two people are working, someone has pushed to the remote on my local, it will not be available until I pull from the remote. Samaj mein aaya? 
so that's why first write a git pull so it's up to date my code is up to date no one has pushed the code to the remote the code that i have on a local is updated the code on local and the code on the remote are same for which repository for the repository uh, bw ds retail analytic for which branch for the feature job one branch it's clear same hai. now isme humne dekha tha, we created the util folders under the util folders we created data check util we created the snow util now i want to add one more file which is we, i call it as a vault util okay and i add sorry i add the code that we copied this is my code okay i copied this code here now i don't want the class to be created separate class create karne ki zarurat nahi hai so what i'll do i'll remove this i'll just want to keep the only methods why i'll tell you why okay i have only this thing everything looks good for right now i'm hard coding this value don't do on your project ye hard code value aapke project mein mat karo okay have it as an environment variable for some time but don't put on the code suppose ye mai ne code mein dala and i did the git add and git commit and then baad mein maine remove kiya to kya hoga kya hoga जॉब then i need to get a role id so we copied the role id what is my role id what is my secret id so this is what is my secret path so the secret path is this one okay this is my secret path okay now i am doing login so for the sake of this is i will print the token okay i am going to print the token the token get printed and then after that the token is being used in the next method okay this code now secret path wo path pe jayega and then it will call the particular secret okay i think the secret i have is after login okay 
now i need to call the both the methods so first method and i need to call the secret second method So return from this method the token and from this method return is nothing but it will just oh yeah return is secret data. Okay, now I'm going to run this code, Python code, run there. So what happened? Okay, I think I missed. So there you see, there is an error. What error? They say it does not found the secret. AWS secret name, because I have added the extra slash here in the top. V1 secret data. Yeah. So V1 secret data. I'm going to rerun the code again one more time. Can you see this? What happened? Can you please pay attention? So I use the API code and I made a API call to the vault or vault se pehla kya mujhe? Mila mujhe token. Ye token kya hai? Highlighted token kya hai? What is this token for? What is this token for? Yes, access to the vault. Then it uses that token to fetch the credentials. Now I got this second JSON as a message. Now in this secret, you can see that BW AWS access key dev. This is the key. And what is the value? Test is the value. Right? Secret key. What is the value? ADFS is the value. And then you can pass this JSON and get the username and password and use this as a variable and pass it to the connection to the AWS. Okay. So for right now, I'm building the utilities right now, just a utility. I'm just building the method. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll comment this portion. I'll comment this. So, okay, I comment this. What about this thing? The role ID in secret ID. Uh, vault, it should be some configuration in some config file. So I'll copy this. So we created this as a config. Config, this is the config. Here I'm just going to create a file. Vault. I stored in this JSON file. For right now, I'm just assuming this is my JSON file, key value pair file.
okay this is my json file um, Okay, I just stored this key value pair as this JSON file here, and I'll use it later on. Okay, this variable will be used afterwards. This. So I have configuration files here. I have uh, vault util here, vault util miss. So I can make it as a class. Okay, how? Here, I'm going to create a dummy file, the class file. Okay, now the question will be, what is the use of underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, pi file? Initialization of what? So, interview question, Raiga. So, what I'm going here, so, Abhi, this, this file contains only methods. But now, it will become, utils become the class now. It will be part of, with the name. I'll show you how it will happen. So I am in this code now. I want to call that method here. Okay. So I will say import import uh, utils dot. Now can you see this? What happened? It automatically became the class of it. So called util. So this is my main code here. Job one is my main code, and I'm calling those methods in my main code. I have utils import uh, from, sorry, I will use the from, from this import. What was that method? So from utils, what util, ye class se, ye module se, ye import for an import this method. And then you can use this method at the bottom. Okay, so that's how you modularize your code. Okay, so you don't write the code in single file. You modularize your code. So why do we modularize? Because we don't want to recreate the code. Redundancy comes from that. Now, let's say in Word, I store AWS here. I store here. In the world, I store maybe um, some other prediction, database prediction. So I I don't want to create a separate code for each and every I don't need to job one with any certain AWS code. I do not write it in that code. Job one I just write a job code. The other thing is a repeated curve, I'll write in a separate code as a separate module. And I can use those when I'm calling back. That's the very good I will have. It's a way other way to can first is modularization say if you have a code something you have. Seconding number of lines, code string testing will be over there. Then you code coverage. Anybody know about code coverage? Test coverage, code coverage. 
No, so that is also easy, right? And effort comes in there. Number of hours for development is easy. And performance budget is easy. Easy to deliver. Uh, easy to fix. Easy to the angle of the fix. Yeah, the subject of fix will be there. That's an easy. That's the benefit you will have. So this capability is like moderation of the code and something hard from my experience. And suddenly take leave, solution architect and data architect who who had some experience can contribute to this activity. Okay. We have an idea, usage for now, you can put it to make it for that. And we use this method. So we have the credentials to start HDR. No, uh, same thing we can do for AWS. Do I have to create a separate word code for Snowflake? Yes or no? No. I just have to add the relation to the point or general method or some to method name then a path is that to create path. This is a variable. Right now I pass the AWS. Next time I will pass the Snowflake. So, for example, I'll show one more thing how to do with the snowflake. Abhi humne konta credential call kiya AWS. Let's see how we can do it for snowflake. Okay, I'm in a world. I in the world. Same app role hai. application mein same rakta hu. You can create a separate application if you want, but as it is related to the same job, I'm keeping the application as the same app role as the same. So in the secrets, I have AWS. So I'm going to create a new secrets, and those secrets are for snow secrets. Okay, uh, and pw hyphen snow. Hyphen This is the name. Okay, I created this thing and I save it. Okay, secret kaha pe store kiya mene? I stored on the secret snow. So now let's go to the VS code and how we can fetch that in VS code. So what you feel and one thing I'll do for temporary. I'll just copy this. Okay, and now I'll just uncomment this just to show you. Okay, are you are you with me? Okay, I'm again going to execute the code. Now what happened? Uh, it's still AWS. Just a minute. Because E A W S tha, so I will write a snow, and it's a parameter. Secret path is a parameter, correct? 
सो हमने पासवर्ड कौन कौन से स्टोर किए दो एडब्ल्यूएस का भी और स्नोफ्लेक का भी वर्ड से बट सेम कोड से हम दोनों कॉल कर सकते हैं ओनली पैरामीटर आई हैव टू चेंज इज द सीक्रेट पास यहां पे मैंने खाली सीक्रेट डेटा स्नो लिखा इंस्टेड ऑफ एडब्ल्यूएस सो आई विल गेट अ पास नाउ लेट मी रन दिस एंड सी द रिजल्ट ओके नाउ एरर आया कौन बता सकते हैं बाय Why it's not able to fetch the password? Sorry, yes, policy. If you remember, हमने जब पॉलिसी बनाया था वेन वी क्रिएटेड द पॉलिसी वी गेव द एक्सेस वी गेव द रीड एक्सेस रीड कैपेबिलिटी टू मूव वॉट एडब्ल्यू एस ओनली वी हैव नॉट गिवन एक्सेस टू स्नो सो वी हैव टू गिव एक्सेस टू द स्नो रीड एक्सेस इज फाइन so uh, we need to create uh, the path and create a capability and add that to the world so how to edit that go to the policy acl policy that we created so on world on the policies the acl policies the acl policy is this aws secret policy and i can modify this edit policy and i think i need to add multiple of it okay okay i save the policy let's try now yes right we got the credentials for the policy ko read access diya read access kiska diya jahan pe secret store tha uska access diya so we have the secret we have the policy and we have the approach authentication method authentication method application mein login karta hai application mein login karne ke baad policy check karta hai policy mein jisko access hai secret ko usko access diya and that's the common pattern it is called uh, rbad right so it is policy is nothing but the accessing kya chahiye cap uh, read is a capability policy that or role you can call it jisko access hai and jis cheez ka access hai that is the element of okay. it so it's a rbad type of thing we can create a separate role also or separate policy and use that policy if we create a separate policy we, there will be separate role id and secret id that is also fine can create a separate role id and secret id and then and again it's a parameter so we can use the same method samajh mein aaya so code redundancy ki zarurat nahi hai same code we can use for right now um, i'm okay to push this code to the git repository because uh, it is on my machine so you can change the other things if you want so this thing i am just how to git push now What is the thing I need to write to check the? मैंने क्या-क्या change किया? ये check करने के लिए क्या लिखूँ मैं? Git status. Sorry. Okay, so it says that 
I have changed these two files. Now, what I need to do to add this code to the local repository? Git add. Okay, yaha pe batata hai ho. Wo batayega, the branch is up to date with origin. Origin ke saath up to date hai. There are no changes in origin which are not in local repository. There are changes in lower local repository which are not in the remote. So, wo batayega. First line it says, your branch is up to date with the origin. Remote say up to date hai. But there are some untracked file. It's a tracking nahi abhi tar. Jo git mein nahi hai. It just change here on local. So, what I'll show? I'll say, now it says, git do use git add to include in what you want to commit. So, I'll say git add. And I can partially add. I can just say underscore underscore wo file add karo. I can add partially. But for right now, I say add everything. So, it's going to add everything and it has also added the dot idea file also uh, okay now do git status again just to check what is the difference now can you see that earlier git status karne ke baad ye aata tha abhi ye aaya so what it is it says there is a new file get added these are the different new files and these are the different three files i added abhi mujhe kya chahiye i don't want this dot idea file to be added in the report what I should do? So dot idea karke jo inside the folder, whatever the files are there. I don't want those files to be pushed to the remote because it's a junk file, local file. Anymore. So where comes the git ignore? Okay. So in git ignore. So I'll say ignore. Yeah, dot idea. Okay. Joby hai, ignore kare. Then I'll again run the git status. Now there is a one untracked change, which is this one. So I'll use the git add to add it again. Okay. I'll do again a git status. So it is. It is there now. I'll use the git commit. Added vault util. Now these files are committed. Probably I should have excluded that idea before, before making a git ignore. But if you download, if you try it, it will not allow, or it will not push your idea file, not idea file, if you're using the file jam. Now I need to do the git push. Abhi bhi changes local mein, abhi bhi changes mein remote mein push nahi ke. So I'll say git push, and the changes will be pushed to the git. Including dot idea, the reason is that when ignore the polar already add on a path, ignore the path. Other may fairly bolta, so dot idea dot idea file is not have added in a git file. So, sorry, yeah, before adding, we should add it in the git ignore file. Okay, so right now, these code are pushed to the git, let's say on the remote, this code are available or not. So I'm on the feature branch. This is my feature branch and you can see there is a code which is added. Config file is also there and SRC file is also there. And dot idea is also there because we did not ignore it. And under the util, you'll see the files there, right? dot vault util is still there okay and it includes the path and other thing when you want to run just make sure you put it as i'm calling at the bottom here but if you are making a class diagram uh, you can ignore that okay 
Anybody know about UML? UML Again, I'm not writing, going to write a code um, manually. I'm just going to ask chat GP to write the code for me. So I ask chat GPT write a python code to connect to aws so it will use the photo 3 it will use a session very small program it will use what it use access key and secret key access key secret key kaha pe store kar rahe hum log vault key. so vault se access karenge vault aws for connect Right. And that's how we'll make the connection. Now, let me log into my account, my AWS account, to get the role access key and secret key. Uh, okay. Uh, Jada or are you able to understand it? Jada or okay. 
Okay, anyways, you have a code. You can look at any time to those codes. So, uh, as you said, Jada or I, so Kya Samaj Bin Ari, so I can concentrate on that. Get the code and then change the code. Here, AWS account is all the services. Three years, all the services are there. Now, we want to connect to this AWS. What are the options? Now, the about project that may job run. Are you planning to connect a username and password to control? No. So you will use a PLI. What PLI are you going to use? AWS PLI is a yeah, so you need a those IDs, great ID and access. So, first thing you need a secret access key. Get into the head of your. It's okay. Okay, so after secret key or access key, to make the connection to the head of your. Right? When you go to AWS, whether you use AWS CLI or whether you use Photo C, you need the same. Now, this is your laptop, okay, from which you want to connect to AWS. And you have a 5.5. What do you need? You need a Photo C. Okay? First, you need a Photo C. Then, you need a role ID and secret ID. Now, if I roll ID in secret ID, in other code, I will put it So, if anyone can connect it, if they add the code, they can connect So, I want to store this into different files. Let's say I want to store it in config file. For config file, say, I am calculating Python variables and any of Python variables in my Python code. That's the second option. But problem is that if I put this config file in the case, again, Credentials uh, can be used by in person. Third option can I make those config with username or secret key as an environment variable. Right? So that environment variable can I so do if I will have only access because if I log in and I create a user variable, you know how to create a user variable? 
whether it is window, whether Linux, you know how to create it. How we create in uh, window? Those may user variables, yes or not? Environment variables are add to add either a variable or either a user variable. Or you can if you want to create a person, say anything. If you open a command from just write a variable name and value, it will automatically create that for you in Windows. What do you do in Linux or Unix? Just write export. Export the name of the variable and value of the variable. It will create the variable. But that will for the session. So if I say close the that variable is not available. Other option is add in a bash profile or add in dot profile file or dash from profile file. So that every time I start any session, it is available. Variable, session variable, variable, user variable. So that variable is accessible by that user variable. Okay. Are you clear? You know it? Yes. Bad profile. What is it? So, assume that my this is WSL is my Linux system. Okay, what do I type to go to the home directory? User home directory, jane ke liye what I should type? How to go to home directory? User home directory me jana hai mujhe. How to home location pe jana hai? CD. Just if I type CD, I'm at home. How do I know that I'm at home? PWD. This is the root location. I'm at root location. Another way is CD tilde. I'm at the home location, right? If I do ls here minus lrt, I'll see the, all the files in the home directory. So there are files called dot profile file. Okay. Now I'll show you how to create one variable. Let's say export, and I want to give the name variable my var. And value of my var is value one. Is the value one? Okay, I created this variable. How, how I know? I use the echo dollar my var. Okay, itna to pata hai. That's how we can create a variable. Now, suppose main ek or session WSL session open kar da, WSL subsystem Linux session open kiya. Okay, this is the second session. You know this, this is the first session, this is the second session. Now here I say equal dollar, I'm calling that variable, my var is the name of variable. Why I did not get it here? Why I did not get a value of that variable? Second session me, why I did not get that variable value? I have created the first variable in the first session, but the second session I didn't get it. Why didn't get it? Why can just raise your hand if you know the answer? Can you can you tell me? Yeah. Yes. मैंने पहले session में variable create किया. Second session में echo कर रहा हूँ. I try to fetch the value. Why I did not get that one? Because it's a session variable. It's not a user variable. It's not a system variable. Okay. That's why it's just a session variable. Your session close okay, value gone. Now I want to create a user variable. So every time it automatically get created. So 
I'm here and I'll just open dot profile file. I can either open a dot profile file or I can open bash RC or there is a bash, uh, where is that other file? Okay, I'll just open the bash profile. Okay, if bash bash RCB may use cursor now. Here I'll just in edit mode, I'll say export uh, my bash is equal to value one. Okay. Right and quit. Okay. Now I do Abhi mein yaha pe jata hun. Uh, I think I'll just close the session. I'll close both the sessions. I'll open the new WSN session. Okay. Session open karne ke baad mein likhta hun. Eco dollar my val. How I get this value here? User session mein. Now, if I change the user, uh, I don't know what are the other users are there. But if I change the user and try to invoke it, I will not able to do it. Why? Because let me see CD. Uh, see. CD user yes. there is no another user otherwise we could have to if there is a separate user who user he accept me access me why because this variable is just a user variable it's not a system variable so there are other methods you can create a system variables also uh, which can invoke and create it. So you got that variable and other thing. Okay. So another method is to store the role ID, sorry, secret ID, secret key and access key as a user variable. So only that user, if other will execute karega, so he will credential resolve. Okay. Otherwise, he will not get the credentials. That's the second method. But problem is that anyone who has access to that user can get the password. And what is the password change to here? That user has to go from this key method. First method to code to password in code, which is absolutely not recommended. Second to password in config file, which is half recommended but still not the complete recommendation because complete file or Python file is key work. Then third option is there is a third option put in database. That is again the third option. But it has again a limitation. Can limitation there? If the password change work, so I have to update the password in the table. So not in the table. Still few people use this method few people use this method to store the password. Fifth method, method is new environment variable. Okay. Again, issue is other password change work to manually environment variable update for those that is again a challenge. Then fifth method is use vault. Which is more accurate method right now. People are using. Okay, so maybe our project okay, so people may be using the password storing database or maybe as the environment variable, but that is to put the password in vault. So like as a phone, if a password has put it from vault, and then vault may be security check, yes, and it's going to be password they give us. Now I'm running the application. The application automatically should go and fetch the password from the world. So I created the app rule. I told you to all access the key methods. 
to understand the flow, the rest is easy. Okay. Now the next part. We are trying to connect to AWS now. Flow समझ में आया? And also the variable, local variable. I mean, uh, the session variable, user variable, and system variable. And you can write down those three four methods to store the password. Okay. Yeah, you can take the picture also. Okay. Now, uh, what's the time? Okay. We'll stop at five thirty. Before we stop, I'll just reiterate the. I'll show you the use case. Jo humne bola ki S three ko khali read access hai. So, wo main prove karke bata taun yahan pe. So I am logged in as a root user. As a root user, main login ho AWS account. Can you please pay attention? Okay, last thirty minutes, just pay attention. Okay, so I have logged in as a root user. Now I'm going to go to I am user and going to create a user. Have you studied I am service? Excellent. So I'm going to go a little fast. Down. 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 So I'm going to create a policy, a new policy. I'll just name it as S3 read BWS3 read policy. Have you tried to create the policy roles, user assigned to it, and then log in? Excellent. और सेम थिंग हमने वॉल्ट में भी देखा वॉल्ट में भी हमने सेम किया पॉलिसी वाज रीड व्हिच इज नथिंग बट कैपेबिलिटी एंड असाइन इट टू द एसकेएल जो अपना रूल था सो आई क्रिएट अ सेलेक्ट द सर्विस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड आई विल सेलेक्ट द एस3 नाउ व्हाट एक्शंस आर अलाउड हियर Now you can see there is analogy with the vault. Vault maybe on the policy bana or what access we gave, we just give a read access. So to this service, I am going to give the read access on it. Read access to what? So I give two access. I give list, list wala access. I give all list, list bucket, and on S three, list all my buckets. This is the two access I want to give, and it's a allow. I'm going to allow it, and okay. Only list bucket and list object is there. List bucket is nothing but this object. Okay, these are the two things I just gave. Click on next, and I can specify the buckets also. If I will have to give to any bucket, ah, uh, it needs to add an AR specific. I'll give on the all bucket. All buckets. I want this access to be there. 
ओके नाउ पॉलिसी नेम पी डब्ल्यू पी डब्ल्यू एस सी लिस्ट ओके सो आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस पॉलिसी विच विल हैव ओनली लिस्ट बकेट एंड लिस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सेस सो फॉर ऑल द all the buckets i'll just give this list and i created the policy now this policy needs to attach to a role let's create a role also and it's a uh, okay so it's the aws service role and i'm assigning to s3 because uh, it's on for s3 and here i will search for the custom role that i created which is custom policy that i created which is list policy s3 list policy okay maine role bhi i'll give the role bw list s3 role this is my custom role which i created and nothing else i'll just create this role ye role bhi assign ho gaya now i need to add a user create a user and assign this role to it so i'll create a user pw underscore sc list user okay and i'm going to provide a uh, aws management console access to it just to say of uh, you can able to log in okay next i want to create a im user uh, i'll provide a custom password for it which one so it will not have access to console so if i yeah it's fine but i want to see the by logging that's the reason okay sorry question was what if if we not selected the provide access to aws console which is optional kya hoga so he will not that user will not have access to console uh, i want to give him access because i want to show you that it just have a list access for that purpose only like so also provided the password uh, and must create a new password i don't want it to change the password so i'll say okay go with default it and now it comes the permission so we created a role we created a policy i'm going to assign the role which is created to this user i'm going to assign the policy directly oh i can assign the role also yeah i can assign the role or i can assign the permission also so for right now the policy is directly i can assign or uh, i can add a user or group i think i don't want to add it right now and say create user so user is created and you can see that it is the console password is shown here and uh, other things are fine so we have the url you have the username and we have the password for that uh, return to user list i am going to sign out from here and as it's a i am user not a root user so i want to log into it
Now I'm logging it as a I am user. So what's the user ID? BW SD list user. Okay, that was the user ID. What was the password? Yeah. So I provided the custom password. So um, oh, it's need account. Sorry. Um, I need to get the account. I, uh, first, I need to get a uh, user account ID. I don't have it. Are you getting this? I just want to fetch the account ID. This is my account ID. I'm going to sign out from here. Okay. So now it asks for the account ID. So this is the account ID. Username BW. Okay, so we logged in with the I am user that we created for that account. It's not a root user. For this user, I'll fetch the security credentials and we will use those, put that security credentials in a vault and we'll use those vault credentials to connect to AWS. That's the power flow. Thing. does not have list access key. So, and if you see it on the list access,
I'll find out and log in with the root user, fetch the root ID and put it ID. Okay, so I think I'll write uh, the root user. Okay, can you listen to me? I'm at I am user now. I'll fetch the credentials or I'll give the access to list secrets at least for that user. I'm just going to create a secret key um, for this user. Uh, I want to use it for command line reference or I'll just, I just selected local code. I understand the commitment and process the access key and secret key. So this is the access key that is and secret key is generated. I'll copy this. Can you please pay attention just last 10 minutes? Okay. This is the access key. And I have created the secret key as well. Now, what I should do with the access key and secret key? Kahape store kuro abhi? Vault. So I'll go here. Can you please listen? Okay, so what is this application is? What is this application? Okay, where I should click now to store the credentials? Okay, where in secrets? AWS. Where in AWS? I have copied, I have copied, uh, I guess, this one, the first one, which is the access. Okay, so I'll just modify this AWS access key. Here I need to go to uh, edit, where is edit? Okay, it's a create new version. So, 
can you please pay attention last 10 minutes so i'm putting it in under the oh. okay under the access key now there are there is a second thing which is a secret key so i'll copy this secret key where i should put the secret key secret access key on a wall okay and i'm going to save this okay now i have this information now let's use this information fetch it from vault and use this information to connect to the aws so i'll go here back on my the code now you know that we have the code to connect here we have a AWS util which need the access key, which need the secret key, and which which needs the region to connect it. Uh, hope that region will keep the US East one as is. Now we need this two information. So how do I get this two information? So what I'll do, I'll import. Sorry, from or I can just write the import also. Import. Mujhe utility other utility call karna in this method what other utility i have util under the utils i have which type of util vault util vault util okay dot which method uh, is there any method no vault util from vault util i want to call uh, there should be Okay. Okay. From here, uh, let's call vault util. Which one is the method? Authenticate and approve get secret. What I'll do? I'll make a class of it so that we can call it there uh, with some variable values. Okay. Uh, or let's try with this. The class name is get vault cred. Okay, so I'm going to in AWS util and now is there anything wrong? Okay. Thank 
Okay, so it we just created a class out of that. Okay, so it just created a class uh, with the vault client, and we'll just use this vault client class uh, in uh, in AWS UT. Vault client. Okay. This is the class we imported. And here I will say vault client. And assume that I have hard coded values here. So AWS console, AWS UTL may jake may just I'll just say paste this all information main hata this down. I'll just pass this information, vault URL, role ID, secret ID, path, and uh vault. Just a minute. Uh, wall token. Wall token if. Okay, so you can see that this vault client being called from what this here from vault util. I can directly use the vault util. Still, it's not resolved. Let me save this. Okay, so when it executes with this thing, and I think I'll just use AWS. So it will fetch the AWS and it will return the secret data to me. And then I will use the secret data here. To parse it, just let's run it. Uh, still, something is missing here. Let's see what it is. Uh, well, it is not defined in the file. It's not defined in any. Okay. Now it is okay. So I'm going to run this and see the output. So there is an error at line number two. L line number two is no module utils found. So let's see why it is not able to. Okay. Can you see that you got the access key for dev and you got a secret key as well. There is an error in the bottom because we did not pass it. Let's pass this. And don't you don't have to write a code. Just copy this and ask chat GPT to write the code to parse and extract the secret for it.
Okay, I just copy this. AWS secret key, I have a message, which is nothing but my secret data. ये secret data से ये दो चीजें मुझे चाहिए, which will be passed to AWS access key and secret key. I'm going to comment this, and then it will connect US keys region, and it is create will create a session, and it will use the list S3 bucket. Okay, so let's run this. It is able to fetch the credentials, and can you see? It has listed the AWS S3 bucket. So what we did, do you understand? We completed that flow. What we did, we first created the vault. In vault, we store the password. We write a code to fetch the password from vault. We use those password to connect to AWS. And in the AWS, we write a code to list the S3 bucket. And it is only able to create the session for S3. What if, if I try to make the session for EMR and if I say list, uh, list clusters, cluster, clusters, I think it will fail. Why it will fail? Because it does not have access to list the S3, but uh, list the EMRs, or it will not have access to, uh, or just keep it S3 only and just see uh, list object or create create bucket okay i'm i say do this it will fail the reason is that it does not have an access to create the bucket now uh, let me see has no attribute attribute <laughs> create bucket create underscore bucket i think i just need to pass the name to it and region yes Bucket is equal to this and anything ACL, no bucket configuration, no. So if I try to do that, I'll get different error. I want that bucket to be private. Bucket name is my BW bucket and some number so that it's a random location constraint a US East one.
okay i want it in the us is one rest of the things are not required guarantees and other things uh bucket ownership is not required okay i'll just comment this I think we have some issues as due to the access, it does not have an access. We have not given an access. If we give it access, it will able to create the bucket, which we don't want because in IAM rules, we have restricted user to just only list the bucket, not the create bucket. So, code doesn't matter. If you understand the flow, the code, you can modify the code the way you want understand the flow and understand the process plus okay so what we did today is we created the vault util uh the aws util to connect it to store the credentials and use those credentials i will check make this code in a gate and so that you can refer today and use it okay and Tomorrow again we will be having session. Umesh sir will be coming for tomorrow at 11:30. We'll be there by 11. Same classroom. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, the code is available on a gate on a remote. You can have a look at that. Hmm. Okay. Morning session will be having session, and probably after post lunch, we will be having the if you go individual questions, okay, so after you so that he will clear all out. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Write it down today night. So make the best use of time, not just mine, but you are. So I think you. If you put an effort to interestedly do it, you can easily get a job. I'm going to stop recording.